The frigate Hessen is sailing with the US Navy in the Western Atlantic. After several days at sea, the German warship needs to be refueled. The crew prepares to carry out an underway replenishment maneuver, known as replenishment at sea, or RAS for short. Planning begins relatively early on, a good hour before the maneuver. This involves the bridge getting ready, the control room getting ready. We sort out everything on deck and then, half an hour before commencement, we hold a maneuver briefing on the bridge. We quickly run through the maneuver and any special features. Usually the commandant says a few words, then the master deck officer issues a safety warning on the station for the troops. Then it's about 20 minutes before the first line comes over, at which point we're ready for the maneuver and ready to get started. Once the area is cleared as wide enough, the Hessen sails abaft the US supply ship, starboard side, maintaining a constant speed and a distance of scarcely 50 meters. First contact is made via a line which is fired to the tanker. <laughs> Using the gun line, the crew hoists over a messenger line which runs between the refueling station and the fuel receiving ship. For us deck officers, replenishment at sea involves managing the sea deck. We're also responsible for the messenger line when it comes over. We must secure it. We are then responsible for checking that the fuel line is securely attached. Essentially, during the RAS maneuver, it is our job to manage the lines on sea deck. The Marines pull the fuel line along the tensioned messenger line and onto the Hessen. Today, the German frigate will need about 280,000 litres. After approximately 20 minutes of preparation, the fuel line is connected and fuel can flow. Its quality is checked several times during refueling. Samples are taken at the beginning, halfway through and at the end. We check the fuel quality because if it's no good, then we don't accept it. We take another sample midway, at which point we have about 100 cubic meters. I've now taken the second fuel sample. Unlike the first one, it's very clear. The first one usually contains suspended solids, but now we're receiving good quality fuel from the Americans. Additionally, as part of the replenishment process, a so-called distance line with little flags is pulled across. This shows the distance between the two ships. The supply ship is the USNS Joshua Humphreys. It can carry up to 28 million litres of fuel. About 480,000 litres can flow through the fuel line per hour. The experienced crew execute every move with precision. They're well practiced in this maneuver, as a fresh underway fuel replenishment must take place every few days. Over the years it has become quite routine. However, each RAS has its own thrill because you're not always sailing with the same countries. So there's always a feeling of suspense and there's always something new. Three quarters of an hour later, the Hessen is refueled. To finish up, the German Marine crew give their thanks for the successful replenishment at sea maneuver. Now they have enough fuel to see them through a few more days on the high seas.